And I just don't know how you keep it together. I with, don't. With, <laughs> <laughs> certainly with J.B. Smoove standing there with his bag of chips and then just chiming in in the middle of all that, Larry, David. I mean, like, that guy <laughs> is just the greatest. Hold on one, one second. So we're back here on our radio network just joining us. We're talking with Larry oh, David. Okay. just showed us a clip. J.B. Smoove, how do you keep it together? I, I said I don't. It's, it's impossible. A uh, half half of the takes, I'm I'm laughing, particularly with JB. I mean, they're all they're all so funny. That cast, JB, and, uh, Susie, and Jeff, Cheryl, Ted, all of them, and uh, Vince Vaughn was on a oh, number of shows again this year. He is fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. He plays Funkhauser's uh, nephew or something uh, like that. Know, Whatever. Brother, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Step brother. <laughs> oh my gosh! So um, we're back. On Curb. And, and Richard's in one show this year. Richard, too. Lewis, Richard is Lewis is in one yeah. show this year. Yeah. You know, he was on here a few years ago to promote Curb. Yeah. And he said that the two of you went to dinner together and that you ordered a whole bunch of food at some uh, Chinese restaurant. That yeah, was, Mr. Chow's. Okay. Yeah. And that he said that you left him in the middle of the meal because you forgot there was a poker night. With yeah. Yeah. <laughs> true. Yeah, that's true. So it's true. Yeah, all of a sudden uh, I realized. Oh my God! I forgot my poker game. You know. Yeah. I, I said I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll you know I'll, I'll make it up to you. And I and I and left. you literally left him there. I left him there. Yeah. He said it was like you ordered. What did he say? It was like a peacock a on the menu or something stuff, like that. Yeah, That's what he said. That it was yeah. like some sort of crazy yeah. ordering that you had a whole bunch come to the table. Yeah. Your phone rang. He said it was Steve Martin. Yes, it was Steve Martin. So he was game. telling yeah. the truth. Yeah, he was telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> So you're in a poker game with Steve Martin? No, I played. Uh, I played in that game. Uh, I, I think once or twice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you forgot. So you just leave Richard with the with the bill and everything he said. You left him. with Yeah, the yeah bill. I left him with everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I and I left him alone. Yeah. <laughs> How do you follow up on that? I mean, uh, you know, I had an obligation to the game. There's got to be. You got to have at least six players, right? Yes. For a game to be interesting, you don't want to play with five. Can't. You can't, can't do it. the split hands. I like the split hands, right? Splitting okay. that. Right. So, um, yeah, I felt I had an obligation to the game, not to him. Yeah. Because <laughs> when he told that story, like, all yeah, of we us here, all like, we were all like saying, that sounds like an episode of Curb, one. Yeah. Two, we thought like he had to have been embellishing some just No, for... he did not. I, I heard him on the show. I heard okay. the story. Okay. He did not embellish anything. That was, that was to the letter. Yeah, which which uh, which cast member cracks you up the most? I, I first of all, I wouldn't say. Okay. Um, but you know, I, sometimes it'll be a Friday, a Friday night, and mm -hmm. everybody wants to go home. Sure. The, the crew, it's ten o'clock at night. They they want to go home, mm -hmm. and I'm laughing during takes. And I, 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 apologize. I go, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But look, <laughs> did you hear what he said? You know, and, and because we're improvising, I'm hearing, I'm hearing it for the first time. Mm -hmm. So it's hard not to laugh. So you're, you're laughing all the time. I, I, yeah. I, I know I push, put you in a position yeah. where you don't want to say one cast member. No, how dare you? I how that. dare you? I know. Who, who, who do you like best here in the studio? You know, who, yeah. uh, Actually, I, I I like TJ the best oh, right TJ, there. Okay. I'll be honest yeah. with you. So, I'm um, offended. I'm kidding. <laughs> he just showed his empty chair right there. Because <laughs> TJ's <laughs> manning the phone right there, shooting this whole um, this whole conversation. Larry David here on the Rich Eisen Show. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you the question uh, that I always want to know the answer to. Everybody wants to know the answer to. Is this it? Is this oh, it, Larry? God, Rich, don't 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 do this to me now. No, why not? Because it's too, it's too soon. It's way too soon. Okay, yeah. so you need to see how everything goes. Well, and I need to see how I feel. I mean, you know, it's a uh, it's a huge mountain to climb. To <clears throat> first of all, to write it, and shoot it, yeah. edit. Yeah. It's it's eight. It's about uh, eighteen months from beginning to end. Um, so it's it's a big obligation. Well, I will just say this. Yeah. Please don't stop. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, on behalf of every human being on the planet. I, that's a slight exaggeration. It is not yeah. a slight exaggeration. I, I Honestly, it is because it's just so spot on over and over and over again with skewering what we live in every single day and what 
we want to say about these situations. And it's we just showed a clip here, and it's as good as ever. So I just wanted to say that in front of everybody here to say that to well, you, Larry. Thank David. you. That's very nice of you. Um, I'm not. I'm not being coy when I right. can't give an answer because I really don't know the answer. Yet. Right. Okay. Well, at any rate, it premieres on uh, this Sunday night at October 24th at, again on HBO on Sunday night. Once again, Larry, I have here for you sure. a list of social situations oh, okay. that we are frequently in <laughs> okay. as human beings on sure. planet Earth in this day and age. Am I answering as me or as TV, Larry? No, I, I, I need you, Larry okay. David. You are the judge and jury for okay. these social situations okay. here. Okay, I have a handful. We have, we have, uh, we've quizzed the, the crew here and the staff, and yeah. we've all come together, and we, yep. we think these are good for, for you to, yeah. to tell us what's right and what's wrong. Sure. Okay, here we okay. go. First one up, uh, mm -hmm. you're at a restaurant. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, you're with others. Mm -hmm. And do you have to wait until everyone else gets their food to start eating larry david that that rule mm -hmm. okay that waiting until everybody gets served yes that is just beyond dumb i mean <laughs> it is so stupid it's torture i can't stand it when people you see they're starving they're looking yes. at the food it's right, right in front of them you're waiting for me don't be ridiculous no you must eat so you must no but and by you, the way we right. did this on curb <clears throat> When was this? We, we did this. We did this on Curb. Second season. Long time ago. Somebody bid on a, some kind of charity to have lunch with me. Right. For some uh, reason, I don't know why. Right. I don't Groats. It was Groats disease. Okay. <laughs> Na named after Dick Groat, of yes. course. Yeah. No, I remember this. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, it was Groats disease. Yes. And and my si my tuna sandwich came, and uh, I said I said to the guy who was paying money to have lunch with me. Uh. I said, Do you mind if I get started? And he said, yeah, I do. And of course, you know. That's a problem. Yeah. But it, but you think that hot food, cold food doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Start eating. No, yeah. but you understand that other people have a differing point of view. So do you start eating or do you ask for permission to start eating? Or you just get in for yourself. You mean, when you you, mean if I'm in this if, situation, if me, if Larry David? If you get the food first. Yeah. Right. Do you yeah. just go? I'll look at him and I'll go, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Then off you go. And they all go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you, as uh, somebody who's waiting for your food, immediately let everyone off the hook. I right just, off. as soon as it comes, start eating. Yeah. Okay. You'll make me uncomfortable. Yeah. All right. That's number one. Number okay. two, uh, spoilers. What is the time period that it's okay to say for a TV show or a movie what a spoiler is? Do you have any thoughts on that subject about TV spoilers? In other words, giving away the story yes. to something? Yes. Yes. I, I have an opinion on that. What is your rule? On that, what do you think? How long? First of all, ask mm -hmm. if they've seen it. Okay. okay. Right. Never ever blurt it out, even if it's a year. A year. Yeah. Oh. Never. You don't blurt out any any information regarding an ending uh, of anything. Okay. For a show, you but you ask. You say, did you happen to see this? Can I tell you about it? Then you'll get your answer. About anything yeah. that's been in the, on in the last calendar year. Of so somebody to... sent me a text. Yes. Uh, Jeff Schaefer. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Schaefer sent me. Your a, collaborator. Sent my collaborator, yes. my, my co-writer, our director, sent me a text. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Knows what a Jet fan I am. Sent me a text during the game. Because I tape the games. If I'm if I'm golfing, I'll tape the you know I'll t I tape the games. Yes. And he sends me a text giving away, giving away what happened in the game. And I said to him, "You have to assume tape. You why didn't yeah. you assume tape?" <laughs> well, this is another subject entirely. Live sports. Yeah. You have to assume that you, always somebody... always assume tape. You never give oh. away a score ever, never. Wow! Especially if you know, especially if you know, you know the person roots for that team. Yes, correct. Or at least say, are you watching the game or are you taping? Oh, so in the same way that it's just like, come hey, on, use your you head. You got to use your head. <laughs> you, 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 you can't be an idiot. My cousin, my cousin sent sent me a uh, some some not my cousin, no, a, fr a friend of mine from New York. Yeah, I taped the Ranger games. Mm hmm. S sent me the score of the Ranger game. Sent me a complaint about the Rangers. I go, you got you assume tape. I'm taping. 
I taped the games. You do know, and I'm I am mandated to say this, that in the sports live sports world, it is assumed it's on you to perform some form of seal around your life where you're you it's on you to black yourself out. No. No. You do not feel I that don't way. think that's fair. Suppose I have some kind of emergency for my kids. I'm not allowed to check my phone all day. No, you have to assume tape. <laughs> That's Larry David on sports. That's my motto. Up. That's okay. my motto. Assume tape. Here's another good one, Larry David. If someone offers you a ticket to go to a game, a sporting event. Okay, I, I'm liking this. Okay. Is it wrong to ask where the seats are before accepting? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing if somebody invites you to a dinner party. Yes. Who's going? Why not? Why not be able to say who's going? Right. Okay. Sure. Okay. I, I don't want to sit next to somebody I can't stand for three hours. But if I'm offering you a ticket to the game, yeah. it's basically like, let's hang out. I've, you know, paid for the ticket. I'm, yeah, I'm assuming that, that they're going to... That's all very well and good, but no. <laughs> okay. So then... I, I'm, I don't, don't put me up in the bleachers. So that's what I was about to say. Yeah. Where is the point of demarcation within a stadium or an arena <laughs> where you would then reject the offer? for the ticket to go to a game, Larry? Well, <laughs> I, I'd have to see where the seats are. Okay, you would have to map it? You'd map it? I'd map it, okay. yeah. Uh -huh. I would definitely map it. <laughs> and then I would have no qualms in saying to the person, eh, I, I, I don't like where the seats are. <laughs> yeah. By the way, your reaction to being on the, on the, on the SoFi Stadium scoreboard, yeah. where they showed you, you were like, you know, eh, whatever. That was fantastic. Oh, yeah. thanks. You're I mean, welcome. Let you know, let a man breathe for God's sake. <laughs> so okay, so you'd have to map it. All right. Or as or as uh, JB would say, mm -hmm. can an MF <laughs> this is what he said in one of the scenes. Yeah. Can an MF live? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've sent JB into how many was it? Five or six? Five Super Bowl media nights for our show. And just asking questions, mostly of the Patriots, because three out of the five Super Bowls he yeah. asked of Belichick and, and Brady. And yeah. He was phenomenal, as oh, you might imagine. He's the greatest. He's yeah. the greatest. All right, here's a, another one for you right here. I got two more left. Uh, when ordering food mm -hmm. or coffee at sure. a drive through are you required to know your order already ahead of time when you get to the speaker to order, Larry? If there are cars behind you, mm -hmm. it behooves you, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> To be prepared. It's it's rude and inconsiderate mm -hmm. to keep people waiting. Mm -hmm. So it's just, you know, it's easy. It's golden rule. That's golden rule. But are you so, so you have to know the menu ahead of time? Oh, you, oh knowing the menu. Oh, because you don't have the menu. Yeah. <laughs> no, in that case, I get out of the car. I look at the car behind. I go, I, I don't know the menu. I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't know the menu. You give the international symbol. I, of, I, I don't give know. this. I'm so sorry. Look, you know, you just give. I'm so sorry. How much time do you have then to order, do you think? Well, like, you, you want to hurry up at that point. Yeah, of course, right? You know, and then if you can't decide, you turn back. No, I, 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 I don't know. I can't decide. Yeah. Here's a bonus one off of that. Is it? When somebody's driving improperly or slowly, oh, do you give the look? Do you not give the look? Does it make you feel better to just see the face and the person who's performing so poorly behind I the wheel? I always want to know what the poor driver looks like. <laughs> always. Why? Why? I, I don't know. I want to see. I want to see this incompetent face. You know, it's very important to me. So I will pass and give a look. You, know? you will pass and look. Yeah, I will pass and look. Yeah. Because I, I do that too. And yeah. I don't know why it gives me such satisfaction to know what they look like. I don't yeah, know. I, yeah, I, I, I agree. I, it's I a mystery, better. but you, but you want to know. You just, you, you don't want to be in the dark about that. Okay, here's the last one for you, which we're very curious. I guess you want to see what stupidity looks like. <laughs> <you know? laughs> What is the face of stupidity? What that, that's what we're talking about. So you can avoid it the next time, or you just no, you just yeah. I guess you get it inside your brain. Yes. Oh, that's a stupid face. 
I'll be on the lookout for faces <laughs> similar to that. Yeah. It's like face recognition yeah, face in airports. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's stupid recognition. Yeah. Stupid recognition. <laughs> All right. Last one for you, Larry David. I have a very personally a very definite opinion about this. Um, By the way, may I say? Yes. Excellent question. Thank you, sir. All of them, all of them, excellent questions. Thank you. I appreciate that. We're, it gives us pride that you. And I, I, that. I appreciate a good, a good question. Okay. Yeah. Uh, last one. Is it okay to play music in a speaker inside a golf cart when you're on a golf course, Larry David? Okay. This is this is a very good question. Thank you, sir. And I am saying. If I own the golf course, do I own the golf course? <laughs> you do not own the golf course. Why, why can't I own the golf course? Right, you may own the golf if course. If I own the golf course, that's one of the rules. You can, you can, you can play music in, yeah, yes. in, in, your, in your golf cart. Yeah. But you don't own the golf course. Like, you're just playing golf with somebody. I mean. Yeah, okay. If they you, have, like. Okay, here, here's what I would say. Yeah. A lot of times in golf, there are other foursomes or other people playing. Yeah. Who can't? Who don't know what's going on? And and you know, in your foursome. Yeah. So you could you could play like I I play with guys and we in the summer and mm -hmm. um and we play music. You do. Yeah, we do. I just I I'm I'm anti music. I go to the golf course to to hear nothing. I get so much. Maybe it's my job. I hear I get stuff in my ears all the time. I hear everything. For some reason, I'm I, I attract ambient noise everywhere I go in every part of my life. Not to unburden myself, but I just I, I just want to hear the birds and the nothing on I, a golf I course. Thought, I thought so too. I don't want to hear Jimmy Buffett. I at, thought on so like, too, but <laughs> you know, if if you get if you get the right uh, mix, okay. Really? Yeah, if it's like a some kind of. 70s thing, you know. The yacht rock? Are you a yacht rock guy? Yes, yacht, yacht rock. rock. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I would like it either, but yes. it, it kind of uh, puts you in a little bit of a better mood. Oh. And, and you need to be in a better mood when you play golf because it's. Yes. 101. What last week? You? Yes. 101. <laughs> Was that the, music? The temp? 101. And it was, I was so depressed. <laughs> I was so sick. I was sick. I was ill. I was ill. I wanted to cry. I could cry. If I had let myself go, I could have cried. I, I didn't even hang out afterwards to, to have a, you a, a soda. You got you know? nothing. I, I had to go, I had to go home and I had to bury my head in my wife's bosom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was so upset. <laughs> that swan episode of curb yeah was one of the greatest episodes yeah that was a good one of all time mm -hmm. how do you go back to your your golf course after something like that did you was it a, a dicey scenario for yourself Larry? Best, best we move on <laughs> <laughs> let's go back to the 101 yeah <laughs> Well, that's all we got. Those are our questions right here. Great uh, questions. That's it right Great there. Great questions. You know what? We always just want to get your thoughts yeah, on no, these very no, these, thorny these, issues. These are really good. Really good. These very, they, by, there's another one where we got you. There's your judge and jury. <laughs> there you are in, in your robe. Um, Larry David, you are the best. Thank you for doing this. I greatly Pleasure. appreciate it. Had a blast. And congrats on the season that's to come and the uh, the – the kudos that are going to be coming your way. This season is remarkable. Curb Your Enthusiasm again premieres this Sunday on HBO Season 11. May there be more years, Larry David. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.